Jeff Tack. He's doing a great job up and down the country in the comedy clubs of Great Britain. Please welcome the poetic stylings of Tim Key. <laughs> I've got about 600 of these poems. <laughs> See if we can break the back of them. <laughs> some of them are um, autobiographical, and some are biographical, and some are miscellaneous. <laughs> this one's all three. <laughs> I'm in it, someone else is in it, and something's happening. Your arms jutting into my flank! I whispered to my lover. <laughs> so the situation is we're in, we're in bed, I'm just with my lover in bed. Her bed. <laughs> oh, F off, Chris. <laughs> she slurred. <laughs> Still half asleep. I frowned. My name's not Chris. <laughs> just a couple of words just about the arm. I um, broke my arm. Having sex. <laughs> With a Geordie. There's <laughs> another poem, this one's a little shorter. I went out with a model, but I found her dull. And also, she was one of those fatty models, so not much to look at. <laughs> the situation where um, me and this, um, this girl were having sex, and um, it came to a position where either um, my arm would break, or um, uh, we'd have to stop. <laughs> role models, isn't it? This next one is about a role model. Jeff! <laughs> Slapped his ginormous cock. <laughs> down on the conveyor belt bit by the till. <laughs> so we're in a, um, we're in a supermarket. <laughs> As to Summerfield. <laughs> That's one of those situations is the, the obviously his, his dick's out. <laughs> one of those embarrassing um, social situations. Jeff's palms went clammy. <laughs> the cashier blushed. <laughs> Jeff was now 90% sure he'd misheard her. <laughs> One of those awkward... <laughs> what do you do? Well, I tell you, it, it says what he does. <laughs> he... He hauled himself back into his jeans. <laughs> hauled. <laughs> the word hauled, he's hauled himself. Gives you an idea of the... Uh, extent. <laughs> hauled. I mean, for me, hauled, I, I, that, that's with rope. It's a chain, isn't it? Hauled at a harbour. <laughs> if I were hauling, I would expect my hands to uh, cross. <laughs> he hauled himself back into his jeans and handed her his loyalty card. <laughs> it's 
So this next one is just um, more of the same, really, another poem. <laughs> it's a bit higher up. It uh, investigates the, the thorny issue of plummeting through the air without a parachute. <laughs> Given away the first line, really, but... <laughs> I'll still do it. Chris, jump down to the plane. But he'd forgotten to do checks. His chute wasn't on his back. <laughs> got this gentleman flying through the air. <laughs> he texted the pilot. <laughs> it's quick thinking. <laughs> of course, he could have phoned, but... <laughs> presumably had a, um, a bundle, text bundle. Even at that speed, going towards uh, that ground, obviously. Fleet of mind. <laughs> Throw down my chute! <laughs> and then a smiley. <laughs> no prizes for guessing which smiley. <laughs> it's the one with the... The only one we can't do, actually, the one with the... Um, that sort of one. <laughs> I'll tell you what smiley it isn't. The one with the bloody um, shades. <laughs> I think this is very much a shades off situation. <laughs> but it was a different pilot that day. <laughs> when he got the text, Des texted back immediately explaining this. <laughs> I'll leave you with this one. It's. Uh, it's not yet finished, so... I'm taking a bit of a liberty reading it, really, but... <clears throat> Jeff gritted... <laughs> oh, it's a good start. Um... So I, I have it... I, kn I know what sort of... I can visualise it, but it, I... I Completely aware it's not the finished article. <laughs> For a start, we don't know, I, I don't even know whether he's gritting as in his teeth or whether he works... Um, <laughs> ..for the council and it's winter, so there's not enough. <laughs> so I'll get back to that one, but thank you for listening to the other poems. Thank you.